A horrifying scene in Kentucky after a deadly shooting at a busy school bus stop. It happened about 6.30 this morning near downtown Louisville. Investigators say a group of students were just waiting for the bus when someone drove by and then opened fire. A 16-year-old boy died from his injuries. Two others are injured. One police officer says it is horrifying and devastating that children cannot even wait for the bus without getting shot and says she is pledging all the department's resources towards solving the case. First of four, we're also tracking some stories that are making headlines around the world. We've been following this volcanic eruption on a Spanish island of the coast of Africa. People are still struggling days after the first explosion. The eruption started Sunday on La Palma, one of the Canary Islands. Thousands were forced from their homes. Rivers of molten lava are now flow flowing downhill, devouring everything in their path. Experts said the volcanic eruption and its aftermath could last for up to 84 days. All right, moving down under, people in suburban Melbourne are on guard right now against further aftershocks after a 5.9 magnitude earthquake in Australia. It rattled homes and buildings, sending piles of rubble into the streets below. There was a pretty strong aftershock just 15 minutes later, and more could be coming. Now, luckily, Aussie Prime Minister Scott Morrison says there are no reports of serious injuries. The news branch of the U.S. military is showing off the prototypes of its uniforms for the first time. We're talking about the U.S. Space Force. The dark blue uniforms feature an upturned collar, six buttons, each featuring the force's Delta logo. There are six buttons because the Space Force is the sixth branch of the military. Members of the force are called Guardians. There are nearly 6,500 on active duty.